ladies and gentlemen humans of the forge welcome back to another new world guide a video if you are new here i am iron smithy um and we are going to dive in today to a uh this is going to be a hatchet musket build i'm also going to include a hatchet war axe build because or the battle axe build because both of them work very very well together i use the hatchet and war axe in pvp more often uh, but both of them are very viable a lot of fun I am theming this build the Gaston build for Beauty and the Beast once you see my character and everything that we've done as soon as I was building my character and I saw this like jawline this face this hairstyle and everything I'm like I know exactly who I'm theming my character off of because it was the first thing that came to mind when I saw this combination so this is what I'm going to refer to as the Gaston build this is going to be essentially a hunter build where we're focusing on the hatchet and a, uh, a musket musket to pull the enemies in by the time they come in we do a berserk hatchet uh ability and we just we wreck them we have a ton of sustain it's very easy to solo with this build I've never had any issues I've been soloing content with higher level mobs elites everything like that stuff I shouldn't have been able to solo but because of the sustain for berserk the damage mitigation the movement speed increase and everything that the berserk build provides it has just been so much fun so without any further ado let's jump right into the video all right so before we jump into the good stuff and we show you how much this build wrecks I want to dive into the stats with you guys a little bit as well uh so we're going to talk about the stats why I chose the stats the way that I did I'm going to show you guys my builds and then we're going to jump into some combat real quick so here we go the first thing first the stats so i went primary strength secondary constitution i didn't put any points into decks and you're probably wondering iron you know you're running a hatchet musket build without dexterity what the heck are you doing especially when hatchet scales off of dexterity as well you very well can you very well can but if you think back to what i first uh spoke to you i also run with this build um straight or a hatchet uh war axe build or great axe build sorry uh because i do that more in pvp and my musket in this build i currently sort of use only as a fire uh damage over time the powder burn damage over time and just as sort of a pull to bring them into me closer get a little bit of damage onto them before i uh explode on them with the berserk from hatchet i have found this build to work out much better the uh, constitution brings us up to about 71 uh 7.1k health without the best gear this is mediocre gear that i have on the character as i'm leveling up right now i haven't really invested too much i haven't grinded out many dungeons because i know we're going to out level the gear as i'm pushing for max level as quick as i can i am currently only 48 i know there's lots of people who have hit 60. Uh, i did start the game five days late so no excuses we're trying to catch up we'll get there soon enough this is where we're at with our current gear score and stuff like that but 155 strength 124 constitution between our gear and the points that we've invested i think we've put in 86 points into strength and we put 61 points into constitution giving us a little bit of an edge on the strength side uh giving us um reduced stamina damage from melee light and heavy attacks from the enemies uh gives us plus 10 percent damage uh to melee uh heavy weapon attacks we also get 5% damage to melee light attacks as well and obviously mining speed and different mining uh things as well through here through constitution we ended up getting that all our consumables are 20% stronger and we also got uh we increase our maximum health by 10% of our physical armor damage so we are rocking all medium armor now on to the weapon mastery side of things so we are running hatchet for this build today uh so I have feral rush as a gap closer sort of uh also a burst ability when you have crippling strikes if I hit it in the back, I cause root and immobilize. And uh, if the target's below 30% health, it does 20% more damage. So it's basically an execute ability below 30% health with a gap closer as well. Uh, anybody who's been playing this game knows that you can get knocked out of range. That the collision is a pain in the rear end when you're melee and you're trying to get in and trying to get close enough to attack an enemy when there's two or three other melees in there or melees as some people will correct me to say so having this ability to sort of jump in and get your character into position right away instead of trying to sort of fight your way around through all the collision that's a bit of an issue this build focuses on berserker the abilities you get here are just too strong to ignore in my opinion uh having berserk 
uh gives you all your attack damage is increased by 20 percent um with this as well we increase our movement speed by 20 percent uh we get health regen back every four seconds maximum of 30 percent of our maximum hp so that's where the sustain comes in that i was talking to you about um triggering berserk removes all crowd control effects stun slows roots from the players so that is huge in pvp and uh when we're in berserk all our attacks are uninterruptible and uh we can't be staggered so we can literally just sit there and when they would normally be able to push us back or knock us down or anything like that while we're berserk we're just focused and we can just wreck them generally before our berserk ends i also have frenzied purge in there so this also ties into like pvp and pve uh when my health is below 30 percent, i automatically or when i hit an enemy when my health is below 30 percent, i remove all bleed burn poison dot effects from myself so every strike i do while in berserk if i go below 30 percent health i'm removing all those damage over time effects on myself as well Plus with the heal over time, it just like, it, it all stacks together to give you a ton of sustain. And with the final ability to find death, you receive lethal damage, you avoid death, reducing my HP to 50%, but I gain immortality for three seconds, generally enough to get a healing pot off or for your healer to throw some heals on you or something like that. It gives you that extra time. I don't know how many times this ability has saved me both in PVP, PVE, dungeons, whatever. Such a strong, strong build. We got some other ones as well. Um, Every three successful light attacks, we're gonna gain empower doing 30 percent more damage you stack that 30 percent more damage with the 20 percent more damage from here and i mean you're just constantly increasing and increasing and increasing how much damage you're doing uh every heavy attack gives you empower hitting the same target with three light attacks grants fortify so now we're gaining damage absorption with healing over time and everything like that like it just keeps building to make you so strong in my opinion hatchet is one of the easiest builds to solo with that i have experienced yet and you can see we've leveled a couple of uh we've leveled a couple weapons now as we're working to get you guys more guides and i'm getting more experience with all the different weapons and stuff like that we're actually gonna have two guides this week but hatchet is just it's so easy uh and then obviously i have rending throw this is just something that i have it adds rend onto it um it's something that i use either as a pull mechanic when i'm solo or something that i use as a uh continual damage as i'm trying to get back into position in pvp so if i'm trying to rush the flag uh, which is what I use this build for and why I go Great Axe a lot. We'll jump into that in a second. Having this ability to sort of continue damage on somebody as they're trying to run away or heal or something like that until I can gap close them with Feral Rush or get back into attack range. At least I can do a little bit of damage still while I'm getting back into position to uh, to hit them with Berserk or Feral Rush or something like that. So that is what I focus on for the hatchet. Now for Musket. I uh, still haven't leveled this up completely because like I said, the main focus of the build for me is at the Musket side of things i know the musket's amazing my purpose for it with this build is i want to do powder burn i want to get that 12 percent uh additional damage over time on fire and i want to uh you know if i hit him with a headshot we can extend the burn duration to 13 seconds instead of nine seconds so it gives us more damage over time it's going to have them ticking away while we're getting into position with our hatchet right as they uh, as i set them on fire so i open with this i set them on fire uh then i'll drop into shooter's stance it gives us three 75 percent reduced reload speed shots back to back to back and super fast between uh powder burn and shooter stance i can generally get most equal level mobs to half health or less before they even get to me i hit berserk and i go uh i jump in and they are they're done like i will take very very little damage when i can open hit the shooter stance and then go into berserk nine times out of ten i'm gonna come out of that fight unscathed even if it's a silver uh um, like one of the elite mobs so i mean it's a very 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 simple build with this uh we also took uh landing the three headshots within five seconds of each other grants an instant reload so when you pair that with shooter stance when you come back up you essentially get four shots back to back as long as you hit all three headshots which sometimes can be difficult but with more practice you will definitely be able to do so uh removes damage uh fall off from standard musket shots and targets more than 50 meters away so again i want to pull these from far away and i want to be able to get all those shots off before so the further away they are i i take away that fall of shot from uh from the musket so simple build easy uh that's sort of what we're looking at gear now real quickly we're rocking all uh strength con for the most part strength con constitution strength strength and then we got constitution uh ring or sorry necklace constitution ring and we got uh, dexterity necklace or earrings because i mean that's the only one we were able to get right now three bag slots uh the musket we are using is the tundra warden's rifle this falls out of the depths uh 465 beautiful beautiful musket not gonna lie whatsoever and then we got the great cleave chopper 460 strength decks uh with corrupted bane 50 damage to corrupted 
another really really uh nice hatchet here to uh to be able to explore with today so that is what we are working with the um the great axe we have is 420 20 strength life stealing enchanted really really nice we'll jump into that uh in a sec all right so here we go as you can see we got some hades uh or hades defenders in front of us these are some ancient uh enemies they are all confined into this sort of uh rude area and we will show the build uh to its full potential so the uh powder burn first which i already have on you can see that burn ticking down now then we're gonna enter into our shooting stance try to get as many headshots as possible got two of them hit them again switch over to axe we will throw we will jump in and they are dead as simple as that that is an equal level enemy one-on-one -on -one. uh let's see if we can find one of the silvers right now we can run over here our berserk isn't even on right now let's jump right into that and you can see just how quickly and easily they go down that's without using our berserk or anything like that let's see if we can get a couple uh let's get our berserk back up there we go we're gonna have three let's let them all get together perfect jump in and just start because they can't stagger us because they can't do uh anything like that to us it allows us to just sit here face take them get that sustain from the uh, from the berserk and finish it off with still over half health without blocking a single ability without dodging a single ability and just literally face tanking three mobs of equal level at the same time uh without ever being staggered without ever being knocked back anybody who's fought those spear guys before with a different build uh that doesn't negate like staggers and everything like that you could you know how much those spear guys could be a pain in the rear end knocking you down pushing you back staggering you and everything so uh really really strong again let's show you with the musket one more time we come over here this guy's a 48 we're gonna hit him with that powder burn we're gonna drop down into our shooting stance we're gonna go one two three instant reload four we're gonna dodge back we're gonna hit berserk we're gonna throw our axe at him we're gonna jump in and he is done before he can do anything to us full health never took a single lick of damage it is a really fun build really really easy uh really really just strong in every aspect so we got a silver right here let's show you guys powder bird uh combo on a silver there we go drop down into our stance one two three move back into berserk hit him with this dive in and just start unloading on him where's he going wait what there we go let's keep it going oh he dodged out of our ability okay we're gonna keep it going again not a single dodge not a single block and just to show you guys how strong it is even against the silver three quarters health uh without any lick of trouble whatsoever and with the berserk which we just popped again we could just continue to stand here take their damage and we're still healing you can see that tick of 700 health every four seconds constantly gaining regen constantly healing without using potions food or anything like that so the sustain is amazing the solo ability of uh of this build is a ton of fun with that being said we talked about the great axe as well and how well this build works with the great axe uh as part of it as well so let's show you guys a little bit of that we are doing reap with charge and uh gravity weld to sort of suck them all in this is a bit more of a cc pull control uh type build this is something we use uh in pvp especially to rush the flag uh with the ability to sort of keep people slowed with the gravity well then we switch over to hatchet we hit the zerk and we sort of just go at it uh with the hatchet again i was able to pull i think i was 42 the last war that i was in and we were able to do about 400 000 damage uh with this build uh hatchet and great axe considering our level considering we were getting a bunch of level 50 plus uh to be able to pull that kind of damage get the amount of kills that i did i think i had something like 190 assists um it was really 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 strong so pull them in hit them with gravity well go over to our uh ooh, to our hatchet and take down all three of them without dodging a single ability or anything like that so very very strong build uh between the hatchet musket or the hatchet uh great axe both of them are very very strong 
very easy to solo very easy to pull multiple mobs uh i switch to hatchet every time for that berserk ability that's the way i like to play it the great axe on its own for aoe cleave damage is massive in pvp i probably do use a little bit more great axe and then switch to um and switch to hatchet when i need that burst on somebody to finish them off in pvp but that for the most part is the build and i hope you guys enjoyed it today so there you have it ladies and gentlemen humans of the forge that is going to conclude our hatchet musket slash uh great axe guide i hope you guys enjoyed it it is a lot of fun i've been having an absolute blast with it it is uh amazing in pvp it is amazing solo very little downtime with anything that you do with it and it is just so much fun to play um and having that ability to just feel confident solo and not be constantly having to worry about your dodges blocks if that's something that you struggle with the hatchet could sort of help make up for that and that's why i wasn't doing any of the blocking or dodging just to show you how easy and effective it is even without having to worry about blocks and dodges and all that kind of stuff and still have survivability still be able to clear those story missions and those uh and those quests solo at efficient speeds um since the grind the leveling uh, already takes long enough so the faster you can knock out those quests without having to worry uh about surviving the faster you can level and progress through the game and i've been having a ton of fun with this uh build hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did please leave a like subscribe to the channel we are so close to 1000 subs and getting that beautiful partner status on youtube if you guys can help me out with that i would truly appreciate it until the next one stay safe stay healthy and we'll see you guys then